Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to create a divided dollar bill chart. So maybe online you've seen some of these infographics where it shows a dollar bill or hundred dollar bill divided into different segments showing for example a segment for, in this example we're showing a segment for rent, a segment for food, utilities, phone, and cable. So I'll show you how to create this type of chart and we'll go through it. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this table. Go ahead and copy this table. Control C to copy, and then Control V to paste. So put that table there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a 100% stacked bar chart. And when it initially puts it up, it doesn't put it up correctly. So what I'm going to have to do is switch the switch the uh, swap the data over the axis, switch the row and column, uh, because it's separating them out, and we want that all in one bar. So let's go ahead and click that and you can see it's done that already. And what we need to do is just get rid of these grid lines. Select that and press delete. I don't need the legend, so I'm going to select that and press delete. Now the other part of this now is getting the image in there. So what we want to do is select the chart area. So when I click inside the chart area, you'll see that there is a border around it. So when that is selected, I'll go ahead and right click and select format plot area. When the format plot area window comes up, what we want to do is select the radio button for picture and texture fill. And once that is there, you have these other options here. I have a image in my file here, so I'm going to go ahead and click file and look at the sample pictures. It's not here. Oh, I think I put it into the I think I put it in the file here. Here we go. Here is the dollar bill. So now that is inserted. Let me go ahead and close that. Actually, I want to go ahead and not have a border color around it. So border color around it. So I'm going to select no line. Close that. And you can see that now there is the $100 bill that is in the background of this chart area. Now what we want to do is we want to make the different segments of this bar chart transparent. We don't want a fill color here. And we also want this particular bar chart to be the width or the height of this dollar bill. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and right click that, go into Format Data Series, and when it, where it says Gap Width, we're going to have that 0%. Once we have that 0%, you can see that it covers up the whole chart area here. So what we want to do is we want to start eliminating that fill. So that color there, we want to have no fill. And we also want to have the border color as white because we want that separator here. So I'm going to go under border color and select solid line and that's going to be white. Now it's going to be very tiny because the size is small. So what we want to do is go into border styles and increase the width. I like to I like about five point, and so now you see a nice delineation here. I'll go ahead and move this over here. Now with this selected, I think you can go ahead and select the other areas here and start to do the same thing. So I don't want any fill here either, no fill. And I want to do the border color white and the border style five. And go ahead and click on the next one here and do the same thing. Fill, no fill border color that's white and the style 5 and let's do the last two here fill no fill border color solid line white border styles 5 and then the last one here we have no f solid fill oops no fill and the solid line white color white and the border styles 5 and go ahead and click close. So now you see we have separated our dollar bill here. So now we have most of the work done and so the rest of it is more of formatting and creating the labeling. So let me go ahead and increase this size a little bit. Let me make this a little bigger here so we can see it. And what I want to do is I want to reduce the size of this chart area. So when I, you see but when we select it, it only selects that area so it selects that area and that area. So what you can do is you can use your arrow keys to cycle through and you want this plot this plot area or excuse me you want this chart area selected. You see the bar you see the border around it. Or if you didn't want to use the arrows you can also just click one and 
you go out in the chart tools either under layout or format over here on the left under the current selection this drop down lets you select which portion of the chart you want to get to now we want to get to the chart area whoops excuse me we want to get to the we want to get to the plot area because that's the plot area the chart area would be the whole thing so we want to get the plot area and we want to reduce the size of this plot area so we've got these little handles here where we can adjust the size I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller let's make this let's make this about a third to half of the size of the chart so let me go ahead and bring it up here and I'll, I'll tell you why you'll find out why later on let's see that should be it so what I also want to do is I want to get rid of these axes so we can go ahead and select that and press delete select this axis press delete and what I want to do here now is to get those labels in there and so I can just right select that add data label you can see it added it in the center let me go ahead and bring that down and you do the same and do the same here and you want to do it for the other ones here so you want to add the data labels here. Oops, let's move this down here. Right click, add data label. Let's see that one. We'll move that one down here. And these last two, right click, add data label. And let's just move it down here just, just as a placeholder right now. And we'll do some additional formatting. Right click, add data label. Now, with the data label, this, this, these denominations don't really mean anything unless you have a, uh, the additional label of what it is, what the description is. So I can just right click here and go into Format Data Labels, and the window comes up for the Format Data Labels, and what I want to do is I want to have the series name included. So I'll go ahead and click up that checkbox. You can see now it's included it, and instead of having the comma, if you like the comma, that's fine, but I, I prefer to have just a new line for each. Uh, each item here so the rent here is eight hundred dollars so that just becomes a new line and I'll go ahead and click oh, click actually I can just do it the same for the rest here so I just click this one and go series name and then the new line same for here series name and then new line so this is just the basic this is just some basic formatting you can use the comma or period whatever you like to use but I kind of prefer having the series name and an, and a new line afterwards. So we're going to click close. Now the rest of it is just kind of formatting, you know, moving this around. Uh, probably have that up there is okay, and this one in line with that. So you see that when we get to the edges here, where we have the other descriptions that are kind of in the way because of the text and stuff, you can you can reduce the font size to see if you can get that in there but if you don't want to do that we can start to move them down a little bit and that's why I had this wide space here also if you noticed the when this table was created I had created it in uh, descending order with the largest item being first so you can see the big bulk of most of the cost here that fits into the dollar bill is rent and then the second biggest cost is food so it kind of is a nice sort you can see how it's sorted out from largest to smallest uh, as it went from left to right. So what I can do here now is to do some more formatting. Bring the cable down here and bring the phone down here. And I can see right now that it's going to be running out of space here on the right. So maybe I want to adjust this a little bit here to move it a little bit over to the left, this this plot area. So as I said before, um, you have to adjust the plot area. When I clicked on that, I can either use the arrow keys to cycle through and see which selection is giving me right now. So I've got the plot area selected. I'm going to bring that plot area in a little bit so I can have some space later on to adjust these. Now with this, let me go move this down a little bit. Now I can use this to bring it down a little bit. And what I want to do is get those lines so it would uh, point to this portion so just earlier where I had these lines and the little circle at the end let me go ahead and bring those in and that's under insert oops, excuse me that's under layout and insert this insert grouping go into shapes and we just want to have this line shape so I'm gonna go ahead and draw a line shape kind of draw it straight as I can oops let's go and control Z to undo that let's draw it try that again Let's insert the shape and let's see. 
All right, so that's good shape. So once that sh is drawn, I'm going to go ahead and right click and go under Format Object. And let's see, what I want to do is I want to have the end, the end type, I want to have that oval arrow. And also the, the size, I'll probably, let me see if this, this shows up. Oh, it's reverse, so let me go ahead and make it, let me go and format object. Maybe it's the begin size. So not the end type, let's change that. Let's do the begin type. And that was kind of big, so I want to make that kind of a little smaller. Let's uh, let's choose a size one. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, so that's kind of nice. And also uh, the blue sh the blue color doesn't do it. So let me go and right click that format object, and with the line color, let's make that black. Click close, and that looks pretty good. So I've, all I can do now is I can just copy and paste it and bring it over to the other ones here. So I select that, Control C to copy, Control V to paste or you can just control D to duplicate. And so I bring that there and then just control D to duplicate and then bring that over there and maybe I can bring this down a little bit and then control D to duplicate duplicate <laughs> and then with this one I probably want to increase the length of this so let me go ahead and kind of adjust this up a little bit so it kind of matches here with it's in line with the other ones and I can just go ahead and go under format and increase the size so let me increase the size there that looks pretty good and then control D to duplicate and bring this over here to this one and increase the size to this one and maybe move this over here a little bit so you can see here maybe the words are a little bit too big so you know, I'm just gonna adjust the font size here oops close and go ahead and go under the home tab and maybe reduce the font size a little bit maybe an 8 and then maybe an 8 here let's see select that and then select that so now we've got the shape here uh, let's see what else can I do to this so I, in the other picture I had this nice shadow here so what I can do is also select the chart area now and go under the layout or maybe it was format under shape effects let me go ahead and give it a shadow well I think I had that shadow there and then there's a shadow here if you wanted to increase that shadow a little bit the, the depth of it will show a little more you can right click and go into format chart area oops well we can do you can do it here uh, let's see under shadow you want to add that distance maybe give it a little bit more distance maybe seven point and you can see now it's given a little bit more distance from the image and if we wanted to have this kind of float on top of and not have these grid lines you can also get rid of the grid lines go under view and uncheck that now we have our little chart which shows the divided bill so I hope this helps thanks for watching